in this example here, we're looking at calculating the mean, the median, and the mode of the data set. So on a recent test, a number of students got the following marks, and we've got this list here. Uh, we want to first sort the marks from lowest to highest, and then calculate the mean, the median, and mode of this set of marks. So first, let's get our data into Excel. I'm just going to highlight that little row of numbers there click by clicking and dragging, and then I'm going to hit Control C. And then I'm going to come over here to Excel, and I'm just going to do Control V. Now, because we had those commas in that data set, um, they, the, these things appear, the commas appear there um, when, I, when I paste that, that as well. So we're going to have to do something so Excel isn't treating this as a series of numbers with commas in theirs or a string of text, and instead treats these as um, numbers. So I've got that cell highlighted there just by clicking on it. I am in the Data tab right here. Okay, I am going to choose this item right here, Text to Columns. So if I just click on Text to Columns, it says the text wizard is determining your data is fixed width, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We want to take it to, to have it um, change this text into a series of numerical data here. So we look at the original type of data, and this data we have it has commas separating each of the individual numbers. So it's comma delimited. So we're going to choose delimited here and click on next. And in this window here, it gives us this little preview of what we're looking at. Things are separated by a comma here. So I've chosen comma. If it was separated by tabs, we would choose tab. Um, we could choose space, but comma is the one that we want here. And notice that if we unclick comma, we go back to what we had before. If we click on comma, it puts it into all of these separate columns here. So we just click on next. And we want these things to just be um, general things. And so let's uh, just general numbers, so finish it off. And now you can see it's taken each of those numbers and it's put it into a separate column. Now we can work with this data even though all of these things are in separate columns, but in the last example we were working things that were um, listed in a single column. So let's look at how we can take data that is spread across columns and put it into a single column. I'm going to highlight it by clicking and dragging. I'm going to hit Control C. And then I'm just going to move the data um, into a column that is going to start at uh, row 2 here in column A. So I'm just going to click on that cell right here, and then I'm going to go up here to the uh, Home menu, and I'm going to find the item called Paste. And I'm going to click on this little down triangle here. And what I want to choose here is Paste Special, which gives us a bunch of things we can do when we are pasting. And the thing that I want to do is I want to transpose, which just means switch rows and columns or columns and rows. So I'm going to click on this transpose but, uh, little check button here, and I'm going to click OK. So now we look at what it's done is it's pasted that data that I had copied, but it's put all of those columns uh, into separate rows. So now I can come back up here, and I'm just going to delete the stuff that I had before. And I'm going to put a title up here called uh, Marks. So now we've got our data in a nice format that we can work with. First thing we wanted to do was sort it from smallest to largest. So let's highlight this whole thing here. Go up to our Data tab, click on Sort. And we want to sort by marks from smallest to largest. OK, so that's all good. And there we are. It is sorted. The next thing we wanted to do, let's go back and see what they asked us. Calculate the mean, the median, and the mode. So just like in the last lesson, we are going to um, label some of these cells here. We'll put the mean here, the median here, and then the mode here. So we'll put the values for these things. If the titles are in column C, we'll put the values in column D here. So to calculate our mean, we're going to be using a formula, just like we did in the last lesson. So I'm going to put equals there. And the formula for calculating uh, a mean is, well, mean is just another word for average. So the command is average. So then we open our brackets. We highlight the data that we want, close our brackets, and hit Enter. 
So our mean is 70.1538. Similarly for median, we click on the cell that we want the median to appear in, equals, the command to find the median is just median, open our brackets, select our data, close our brackets, hit enter. Similarly for mode, equals, command to calculate the mode of a set of data. A mode is the, um, is the number that appears most frequently in this list. So mode, highlight, hit enter. Okay. So 56 appears most often. We can see that it appears twice right here. Median is the number that would appear in the middle when the, when the numbers are written from smallest to largest. So we've got those data here, we've got them, we've got our 74, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. So there are six values on either side of that median value, uh, 74, divides our data set in half. Um, mean, of course, is the average. We've got four decimal places there. If we only wanted, say, like usually two decimal places is good enough. If we wanted it to only display two decimal places, we can click on that cell and then choose, um, then I right clicked there. Let's click on format cells. We want to change the number, so I'm gonna choose number, and I'm gonna have, oh, I've got two decimal places there. So that's okay. So I'm just gonna, if I wanted to have three, I could click it to three. So I'll just set it at two, and click okay, and that'll only display two decimal places. So there we are, mean, median, and mode.